Hey, 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 guys. It is Kanisha, and I am here to make some cash envelopes. So I just wanted you guys to join me and make an order um, of envelopes with me. These are the ones we will be doing today is the um, sorority, a.k.a. And this was an order. And the lady actually ordered um, 10 of these. So I am just going to sit here and let you guys watch me work. I might not be doing a lot of talking because I like to um, concentrate on what I'm doing. So I may have a little music playing in the background, you know, while you guys watch. So what I have is I, I designed this. Uh, myself using Canva. I have a course that teaches you how to design and where to find your your um, fashion dolls if you guys want to learn how to do that and create your own um, cash envelopes. You can go ahead and go over to www.fundhermentalacademy.com and that will give you a course that will teach you how to design the envelopes and i will also leave that link in the description as well but we will get to making these cash envelopes and you guys know um i use my friskus cutter you can purchase this at hobby lobby or your local michaels and i'm sure it's on amazon but i think i purchased mine from michaels a while back but I'm just going to go through and cut these and then um, we'll get to putting them together. But I just basically line it up to my cut line and I don't cut inside the color. I try not to, um, but I just basically cut off the excess white of this envelope. Alright, so now I have everything cut out and I am going to fold them all and these are, you know, I think these are different. All of them are different. I don't think none of them have the same girl, but the background, um, I have some of them brown and some of them are gray. So that is the different. So you can look at the floor and the, the walls, they kind of match, but they do have this couch in the background if you guys can see that's a couch and two pillows a flower and this right here is an actual book um holder thingamajig okay you can see it better on here so those are book stands with another pillow you got the plant in the background and i just added all of those on there um from some clip art that i had i just put it together and kind of made it a little cozy kind of classy you know like they was having a a meetup or what do they call it um i guess the, their retreat whenever they all get together y'all not a sober so um i never pledged i want to i never did but let's get into how we fold these so you just take one, and I do have 12 here. You just take one, and what I normally do is I put my corners together and just make sure they are even. And I'll just go back and then flatten it out. And I'll just go down just like this, and then I'll go to the other corner and make sure it's even because you don't want none of that white poking out because once that white is out, it's out. And... um it looks like my camera is trying to focus um, on all of this 
but every time I move, it's going in and out of focus, if you guys can tell. You probably can't, but I can see it. But yeah, you just go in and do your corners together. And basically you have your, your envelopes. And I also want to point this out too. This up here is part of the border of the wall. So um, it is not extra white that I left on there because we want to make sure we cut off all of that white when we're cutting. But that is part of the border. I guess I'll try to stay down low because it is trying to focus. But I just wanted to, I guess I thought I could get closer so you guys can see, but. Yeah. And it did not take long to do these. We are 10 minutes into this video. And I did a little talking in the beginning. I think probably three minutes of that. So we cut 12 envelopes out. And we are getting them prepped. So this is not a long process. It is um, great because you can make your money you can make quick money with this you can um whatever you charging to make your envelopes you can make that in basically 15 minutes if you decide to do thirty dollars a set or $20 a set. You can make $20 in 15 minutes, y'all. And a lot of people don't even make $20 an hour. So that's why I um, went on to teach people how to make these and design them. Because it's, it is some moolah in these, y'all. You have to still buy, you know, think about your, your supplies and everything. But it's still worth, you know... selling and creating 15 minutes 20 bucks in 15 minutes you can't beat that i mean you probably can beat that but just making something handmade in 15 minutes i don't because hmm. once you have the design already you can you're going to use this resi resign you're going to use this design over and over again um, you're just going to go in and change the wording. So it's not like you have to keep creating your envelopes over and over again. In my course, I show you how to use that same design. You can just switch your girls out. Because I didn't go and create all of these backgrounds and then created the girls. No, I didn't. But in my course, I show you how I do it. And it's a quick, simple way. It's not hard at all to get it done it is so easy and I um someone asked me why <laughs> that took the course asked why I charge so little for it because I just want to give everybody a chance to get them started because I know some people still have to buy equipment and all of that as far as your printers and then your paper that you have to buy and so see i'm not even 15 minutes into the video and we have everything prepped and ready the only thing we have to do now is laminate it and that does not take long at all and i'm going to also show you how i set them up for lamination um and like i said some of these girls can be the same these girls are the same basically they just have different hairstyles so you can kind of play and tweak with it. And this one doesn't have any hair. So you can kind of play with it and 
do all this and that. But guys, if you are interested, please go and take my course on this. It is not expensive. It's very affordable. Um, and I do go step by step on how to make these envelopes. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get all of these out of the way. And then we're going to set up how to get them ready for lamination. I like to smooth them down, y'all, to make to make them as thin as I can. Because that is so much better when it's laminated. It don't give you that bulky kind of look in the crease of it. Okay. Alright, so I just grabbed a few laminating sheets uh, from my other desk. And these are three meals. And I am going to use four to laminate 12 envelopes. I try to make use of all of my space because I don't like wasting anything. And this is the process that I use. So I just take one envelope. My first one, I lay it here. I don't put it all the way up here. I used to, but I noticed that they are more um, prone to pop when the customers use them. So I kind of just leave a little space there. And then we will take the second one and you will turn it upside down and place it in there. And the reason why I do that, because I do make these with extra edge. And that way, when I cut them, it'll have edge already on the side. Versus if I would have put them, you know, the same direction, I would have to probably put this way out here. And, I mean, you still can do that if you want to, but I just prefer to do it this way. And then I would take my third one and then I will utilize this extra space at the bottom and just make sure I have a little edge, you know, left here. And then I would just repeat that for all of my sheets until I am ready to put it in the laminator. So you can use the bottom one as a guide if you want to. I do it sometimes, but sometimes I don't. But you can put it closer because you're still going to cut down that middle. And we will see that as soon as I get these laminated. Okay, so that is how I set them up to be laminated. Now, I'm going to go to my crafting desk because that is where my laminator is. And I'm going to laminate these and I'll be right back. All right, so now I have everything laminated and this is what they look like after they have been laminated. So our next step is to get these cut. And we are going to bring out our cutter again. Um, and if you want to see the process of the lamination i have another video and i will link it up top um up top of how i do the laminating process if that's something that you want to see but i didn't want to move all that stuff around because i'm here on this desk recording and everything else is on my crafting side so i do apologize for that but i didn't want to do all that moving um, things around so all you're going to do is take this side which is your opening side um, this is the side that's going to be open and you're going to cut as close as you can without hitting the envelope 
So you're going to cut it as close as you can and that way the envelope opens. And this is where the cash will be placed, right in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go through and I'm going to cut all of these apart from each other, which I always cut on the opening because that is the easiest thing for me to do. Okay, so now that I have cut them all into their opening position, I guess we'll say the opening position, I'm not sure, I will go and cut my sides off. So what I do is I just try to make sure I'm not hitting that bubble there. If you guys can see, okay, you can see it here. It's a bubble, so it goes all the way across, and that is just coming, um, that's there because we fold it this envelope and it kind of give you that little puff and that's why i was saying i like this to be as thin as possible because it won't give me a um it'll still give me a close line here let me see if i can get it so you guys can see that bubble okay can you see it kind of sort of yes no but it's a bubble there and i just want to make sure i get it as close as i can without hitting that bubble because once you hit that bubble it pops in the envelope will actually open so i'm just going to go through and get as close as i can without being too close because sometimes when people get them they open them wide and break them anyway so you just have to okay so that is how much room i leave on my envelopes but i also um always open them to make sure that they can open without popping before I send them. That's one thing that I always do. And I also run it back through my laminated machine for um, extra sealer to make sure that it's double sealed. But it doesn't double seal it, but I always just, it's just something I do to make sure that, um, I guess it's a double sealer for me. Just run it through. And the reason why I'm doing it like this, y'all, I like to go and do the same size at the same time because sometimes I will um, get off track and if they order extra laminate edge, I'll cut it to the side because my mind is focused on getting as close as I can to these. So you do it whatever way is good for you. And I noticed that one was a little crooked. Just a little. So I'm just going to cut off a tinge. So, there it is. So now it's time to cut the extra laminate edge and I just line it up and cut. Okay, so that is all in cutting those envelopes and getting them prepared. So if she was to order these with um, 
no holes i would leave them like this if she didn't want the extra edge like i said earlier i would just go closer and cut that off and hole punch them i am going to hole punch them and um i i'll be back all right so i have everything hole punched and ready to go i ran them through the laminator again and um we are ready to get them packaged, but I just want to let you guys see what they look like once they've been laminated. If I can get this to sit how I want it. So this is the outcome of it. This is how they look um, when they are laminated and ready to be packaged. I think they are very cute. They came out very vibrant. So what I'm going to do now is show you how I go and package everything together. Y'all, this is so cute. I think those are beautiful. So what I'm going to do is show you guys how to package them. Okay, so I have a little system here, and I keep all of my things in one place. So this is just a um, a little thing I put together to keep all of my stuff together in an order. I use that size poly bag for this envelope uh, for my A6 size. That's the size I use, and I'm not sure which size that is. But I will have to look it up and I'll have it down below in the description. So what I do is I just normally open it. And I don't open it that wide normally. And I'll just take a few of them and try to slip them inside that front. Okay. and then I'll just grab one of my business cards and which is just a thank you card that I have I'm going to use the smaller one I have bigger ones I think these are four by six I do have those but I'm just going to use this one and I just slide that down in there and if I want to do um, a freebie I'll just grab a freebie and put it in there in which I'm going to do that but I think I want to separate this okay no okay there it is I got it to like flat so I go in my freebie and I will grab something I want to get her well no let's not grab a freebie let's grab a tracker and give her a tracker And it'll just be a, a cash breakdown. And I will slide that in there. Uh, 
fold that over like so. Take the sticker, thank you sticker, and seal it. And then I will put it in the package. But that is how I make my cash envelopes, package them, and that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and the notification bell, and leave me a comment. Bye.